To be honest, at that time we knew we wouldn't be competitive the first year. Uh, we retired very early in the race. The first season was really challenging. It was difficult in some hall, but also we got some really nice results as well. It gave us the, the motivation to push even harder. We know a bit better our car is working and the team is quite well trained. Uh, why not a podium? 2015 was a critical year. Confidence in their abilities would be the driving force. The team feels that they have adapted well, but the WRC is unforgiving. 2015 was the toughest. I felt like I was missing something. But the people showed great commitment and never gave up. They were determined and the results continued to show improvement. Hyundai Motorsport was evolving. A brand new season full of opportunity and hope was drawing near. December 2015, Alzenel, Germany. Hyundai revealed their new i20 for the 2016 season. Well, actually, I was waiting this moment now to, to <laughs> present the new car and uh, finally to know I will drive the car soon. A huge development has been done. The team is competitive now. The new i20 debuted at the 2016 Rally Monte Carlo. Throughout the rally, Thierry Neville pushed his car to its limits. And the result, a third place podium finish. The season is off to a good start. The new I-20 was stable and fast. Expectations for the 2016 season were growing. You win when you find the fine tune. And to find the fine tune, you need time. We start to get on the good results from 16 on. The rally leader is about a couple of clicks away from being crowned the rally winner. And here it is at the end of Rally Sardinia. Nurville and Nicola Gills will shake on it. Uh, it was necessary for us to show some speed. We're very comfortable, everybody was pulling in the right direction in the team and uh, this makes the life much easier for us, so uh, we really enjoyed it. High performance hinges on the driver's confidence in his car. A reliable car provides the confidence to maximize performance. Still, accidents, big and small, began to occur. Sometimes mistakes were made due to a lack of experience. Other times, unpredictable variables were the cause. Obviously this is a big loss for the team and it will take a lot of work for them to come back and build a new car but you know, I'm just uh, really sorry for them. But the team wasn't discouraged. They set to work to repair the car. They put their trust into each other, gaining experience along the way. As they got deeper into 2016, the team found themselves standing on the podium more often. They took second place in the Manufacturers' Championship. Hyundai Motorsports star was rising. With an aggressive exterior and cutting-edge technology, Hyundai Motorsport's secret weapon, the third-generation i20. The Hyundai i20 Coupe WRC was revealed. It was a new car, a new challenge. It was much more high-tech in the car. The differential has changed from mechanical to more hydraulic-controlled differentials. The engine power increased. World-class rallying requires world-class technical know-how. So they must think out the box and reimagine what a rally car is. Every advantage must be fought for to survive in a ruthless environment like the WRC. This is crucible through which Hyundai has forged a new paradigm. Hyundai N-Brand, 
focused on giving drivers a direct feel for the road, with maximum stability and performance over any surface under any conditions. WRC를 개발했던 사람이 고성능을 하고 고성능을 했던 사람이 일반 양산 쪽으로 가게 되는 거예요. 그러니까 결국에는 내재화가 된 거죠 이미. The beginning of 2017 for the improved Hyundai i20 Coupe WRC. This year is especially year because the new regulation with the car more power, uh, a little bit more aerodynamic, so will be really exciting. The 2017 WRC team lineup had some major changes. Volkswagen would not participate, and Toyota was returning after 18 years. Hyundai Motorsport returned with renewed vigor. Having gone head-to-head -head with more experienced teams, they now competed as equals. During the 2017 season, Hyundai Motorsports set many records for stage times over their rivals. Although less experienced, they had a fast car and talented drivers. But most of all, they had teamwork. Hyundai Motorsports soon became the center of attention of the WRC. But rival teams don't give up so easily. We wanted to win the World Championship, but it was always closed and it was difficult because the competitors, they had more experience and they were quite strong. M Sport gained 35 manufacturers' championship points, extending their lead over Hyundai to 40 overall. Ogier claimed victory by 15.6 seconds. M Sport is the world champions, with Hyundai placing second. Why did they not win? In 2016, why did they not win? In 2017, why did they not win? I had a lot of thoughts about it. I came here, but what was the difference between the 1% and the 1%? I was trying to find the difference between the 1% and the 1%. In the middle of the season, Hyundai Motorsports signed Andreas Mikkelsen, who finished third in the 2016 Drivers' Championship. They were pushing for the championship. Said everything is new, so trying to get into things. I feel comfortable starting the rally, and, uh, and I'm really pumped to get going with Hyundai. After finishing second in the Manufacturers' Championship for two years in a row, the desire to take first place in 2018 was strong. Spirits were high for the Hyundai Motorsports team, early in the season in Sweden. In third place, representing Hyundai Shed Mobis World Rally Team, Andreas Mikkelsen and Anders Jäger. Andreas adapted well to his new team. It's my first podium with Hyundai and that feels really, really nice. Uh, overall, uh, quite happy with the weekend and we are back in the championship. Feeling for the future we was very positive. Everybody was committed. Everybody was willing to do the job properly. Future uh, can only be good in that situation. Persistence and competitiveness culminated in the results of 2018. The best finish since the team's founding. Great results on a variety of surfaces. Finishing on the podium three times in a row, Hyundai Motorsport maintains first place in the Manufacturers Championship. The team has come together at last. Here is the battle for victory. Tanak's time is fast, so Neuville will want to at least match him. Oh, he's on two wheels. Amazing he's able to recover that. And he still looks focused and still looks committed. Remember Friday when he ripped his Hyundai apart, pushing for a time at the end of the day. This could end the same way. Not far to go now. Time to watch the clock. The man is on a mission here. There's no room left for her. And he's faster than Tanak, minus the mirror. 
Sebastian Auger. Lost out to Neuville by 1.8 seconds on the first pass of this stage this morning. He has lost just three seconds all day, but that's how close we're talking here. A couple of blinks of the eye. He's been fractionally down on the splits, but we'd still have it in hand at the line. What about, though, the finishing line? Oh, he's slower, too slow. Auger's lost out by 0.7 of a second overall. Fractions of a second can make a big difference in rally. Sebastian Ogier was ahead of second place Thierry Neville by 3.9 seconds. But at the finish line, Thierry took first place by a mere 0.7 seconds. So small difference, but uh, it was it well, so we keep fighting thanks to the team again. They are the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thierry Neville's driving was amazing, but the win would have been impossible without the team. At Rally Italia Sardinia, Thierry and Hyundai Motorsport each took first place in the drivers and manufacturers series respectively. But Toyota was right on their heels. With back-to-back -back wins for Toyota, Hyundai's first place was at risk. Pursuit can be less stressful than leading, and having little experience at the front of the pack, the team began to make mistakes. They started to feel the pressure. Everything changed at technically challenging Spain rally. The constantly changing surfaces took a toll on the drivers. Yeah, tricky day for us. A little bit tired now because we gave the maximum all day. Hopefully, yeah, we will have a strong day tomorrow and uh, hopefully we catch back some positions. The mood was grim at the Hyundai camp. In the end, they fell to second place in the manufacturer series. The last rally of 2018, Australia. Thierry Neville is in second place, behind by three points. Hyundai Motorsport is also in second place, behind Toyota by 12 points. Fans from all over the world wondered, if there be a dramatic finish to the season. The competitors have to battle over gravel, sand, and mud. The final matchup between Hyundai and Toyota. On rough surfaces, rhythm is very important. A small stone can be the difference between winning and losing. The start was smooth. Then, in the 22nd stage, it was lost. Thierry's efforts on the slippy road were not enough to prevent an accident that destroyed the suspension. What does this now mean for your championship chances? The wind has left the sails and Thierry and the team's championship hopes. To make matters even worse, Andreas also crashes. It forced him to retire from the rally. Fortune was not with the team this day. And there was a tractor in the middle of the road and uh, we passed it. We, I started to talk with Anders about it and took some concentration away from driving fast and then the next left-hand corner we, we, we were braking a little bit too late. New Zealand's Hayden Padden continued to battle to the finish. Hayden Padden is now set for a runner-up finish. It's been a difficult season in and out of the car for the New Zealander but at least finishing 2018 on a high. The Hyundai man will do his future prospects no harm. Hayden finished second in the Rally Australia. Thierry Neville and Nicolas Jussol finished the 2018 season in second place in the Drivers' Championship. For the Manufacturers' Championship, 
Hyundai Motorsport finished second. The championship may have been lost, but they know it's within reach. We've done a good strategy and we pushed uh, where we could. Obviously, uh, we weren't, weren't able to get there in the manufacturers, but still, we'll take away this result. It was a difficult weekend for us in the end, uh, not the result that we were looking for, but uh, I think we showed some potential and come uh, st back strong in, in 2019. Hyundai Motorsport recorded back-to-back second-place finishes in the Manufacturers' Championship in 2017 and 2018. Fans supported and appreciated their surprising success. In Germany, in Korea, at the rally stages, the dedication and expertise of the team members helped Hyundai Motorsport to grow strong. Now, they are ready to win a championship.